Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about spherical coordinates. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we have z, z and z to the power of 3. In this one, we can do about factorization and we can put like this. The next one, we can use about spherical coordinate. So we have S, Y, Z. About S, that is about rho, psi, theta, cos, phi. The next one we have rho, psi, theta, psi, phi. And the next one, z equals to pro cosine theta. And now we have s square plus y square plus z square. So if we put this one, go in here. And we simplify and you got about rho square. dz, ds, dy. We need to transform into rho square side theta. So we have d rho d phi d theta. So if we look on the bounds in here, we can see that the bounds they cover on the sphere. So in this situation, the bound of this one, about the row, the row represent about the radius of the sphere. So we can see that the radius, that is about 8. So that should be about from 0 to 8. D phi. Because they cover on the sphere, that means they go around one circle. So that should be about from 0 to 2b. The last one, D theta. So they will cover from 0 to B after they go around one circle in here. So this one, that is about this one. Z, that is about this one. And this one, that is about this one. And now we can put like this. So we have number two, number one, and number two. That is about number five. And we put the integration from zero to a d rho. Later that we multiply by the integration from 0 to 2b and that is about d phi and the last one that is about cosine theta side theta So this one, we have rho to the power of 6 over 6. This one, we have phi.
this one we have sine theta square over number two so we calculate this one and we got like this This is the end. Thank you for watching.